Ooh. We are not Gwyneth Paltrow in here. It's just fun to like, you know, pretend that you're in Vogue some days. Just me. Oh, it just works so well. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit different. I'm in my bathroom, if you couldn't already tell, and if it's a bit echoey, that is why the sound might not be perfect, but I have brought my mic in here, so hopefully it's not too bad. So in today's video, I'm pretending that I'm in a Vogue Beauty Secrets tutorial. I actually got this idea from Leah Halton, or Leah Halton. I think she was the first person that did this kind of video, and I've seen quite a few people do it since then, and I just think it's a really fun idea. So if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you will know that I've reacted and followed along to quite a few of these videos from celebrities and they're usually in their like big fancy bathrooms with like marble walls and stuff. I'm in my bathroom today, I've got my silky pyjamas on, I've got a headband and I'm gonna do my everyday morning skincare and simple makeup routine. So because my sink is here and I am currently stood in front of the window. I'm not gonna wash my face on camera, but what I did use to wash my face is this. I do switch it up quite often. I've got quite a few cleansers that I use. I tend to just go for pretty like gentle basic cleansers these days. And this is just the CeraVe hydrating cleanser, which I really like. It's really affordable. It's really gentle. It's suitable for sensitive skin. So that is what I just use to cleanse my face. So next I take my cream that I use for my eczema. This is supposed to prevent my eczema. Does it do that? Not really. My face is actually feeling like it's starting to have a bit of a flare up again. But this is some stuff that I was prescribed by the dermatologist and it's supposed to help prevent it. It kind of works sometimes, but it kind of doesn't work other times. It's not a steroid cream. It's just like a, I don't know, some kind of ointment. And I mostly just put this on my cheeks, which is where I have flare ups the most. So I'm just rubbing that in. And then my next steps in my skincare are to moisturize my face. Sometimes I don't do this because my SPF sort of acts like a moisturizer anyway. But on days like today where I feel like I'm starting to have a bit of a dry spell, I will moisturize my face. This is really nice actually. This is the Dr. Jar Seeker Pear Tiger Grass Repair Cream. This whole range is really, really nice. I've really been liking it recently. And then I'm gonna use a bit of eye cream as well. This is the Zero Eye Cream, which I've got through maybe like two or three of these tubes. They're just really nice gentle products if you've got sensitive skin, so I'm just just gently like blending in the eye cream. And then I'm taking some of this stuff and I just take a big blob of it and whack it all over my face. I find something so soothing about these like Vogue makeup tutorials. I don't know. I don't know whether it's about them being in their bathroom or just, I love watching people do skincare and like blending stuff into their skin. I just find it really relaxing. Is that strange? Let me know if you're the same. <laughs> then the most important step of everything that I do every single day, we are not Gwyneth oh. Paltrow in here where we're just putting SPF on our cheekbones. How is that video still up? Like, did somebody not check that? She was saying in the video that you just need to put sun cream on your cheekbones and down your nose, like on the high points of your face as if it's a highlighter, but no. If you are using SPF, please put it all over your face and neck and like everywhere. <laughs> I don't know what she was thinking with that, but I wear SPF 50 or at least SPF 30 every single day just because I wanna protect my skin as much as possible from wrinkles and sun damage. That's why I fake tan by the way, because my skin does tan. If I go away for a couple of weeks, I will get a natural tan, but I just rather not like do the damage to my skin. This is one of my favorite SPFs at the moment. It's the La Roche Posay Anthelios Age Correct Photo Correction SPF 50. This is really nice stuff and I just take quite a lot of this actually and put it on my face and my neck as well because I don't want a wrinkle free face and a super wrinkly neck in 20 years time. Also, I'm using completely natural lighting today, so if the sun keeps going in and out, that's why. I can't really control that, unfortunately. Lovely stuff. Sometimes I do more than this to my skin, sometimes I do less. It just kind of depends on the day. This is, I guess, a typical day for my morning skincare routine. And then I'm putting on some lip balm because my lips are always really dry. This is the Charlotte Tilbury one. I do really like it, it's expensive, but it is nice. And it smells amazing, oh my god. So, skincare is done. Moving on to the makeup. And again, obviously I do switch up my makeup products every day but these are just ones that I typically use and I like. So I'm using the Lottie London Mega Brow in clear. I've used this so quite a lot in videos recently I think. And this time around I'm gonna remember to do it before I put my foundation on. <laughs> and I'm taking a bit of the Fet Fetty. <laughs> I'm taking a bit of the Fenty setting spray, just whatever setting spray I've got or like you can use a bit of water and I'm just gonna rub that all in there and then I'm just 
putting this through my eyebrows. It's kind of like soap brows and it just like makes them look really fluffy and big. Oh, and the sun's come out, lovely. Oh my God, I really need to trim my eyebrows. Look how big that one is. <laughs> okay, maybe this is a bit much. Look how long my eyebrow hairs are. <laughs> And then I sort of use my finger to flatten them out a bit. Basically sticking them to my face. And then I am just gonna take the end of this to make them not look quite as crazy. And then I just sort of take my finger and wipe off any of the excess soap. I normally go back in with this anyway once I've done my base because they get a little bit messed up. So next I'm priming my face and I'm actually using the Kiko Ray of Love primer. It smells nice. And it just feels really like fresh and refreshing and moisturizing. Don't get it in the eyebrows. Also, please be honest with me in the comments. Does anyone else, while they're getting ready, pretend sometimes that they are in a makeup tutorial and talk through their products in the mirror? Or is that just me being really weird? I mean, <laughs> considering I do this as my job anyway and I literally have a YouTube channel, I'm not too sure why I do that sometimes, but it's just fun to like, you know, pretend that you're in vogue some days. <laughs> Just me. Tinted moisturizer, so I'm using the NARS Radiant one. This has also got SPF 30 and it's in the shade Light 3. I really just like switch it up every single day. Depends what I'm up to that day. If I'm gonna be going out somewhere where I want my makeup to last all day, I probably won't wear a tinted moisturizer. I would just swap this step for a foundation and probably like a more grippy primer. But on your average day, this is what I tend to do and it is so quick. I'm just blending this in to my skin. I forgot that I'd done my eyebrows, didn't I? I think I just got all of that in my eyebrow. Also, just a heads up, I am gonna get makeup all over this headband. I'm using the Glossier, what's this called? Stretch Concealer. I think a lot of celebrities actually use this in their Vogue videos, but I really like it. I have been using it since I filmed my Glossier video just because it's so kind of light and it's really buildable and it just sort of blends into any sort of tinted moisturizer really nicely. So I have been really liking it and it's really quick to use as well. Okay, like watch this eye bag and then it just sort of cancels it out. I really like it. And I put some on my veiny eyelids. And then just want any little blemishes or scars or anything. If I do have any like big spots or anything or really obvious discoloration, I will probably use a thicker concealer, like a regular liquid concealer. But on days when my skin is doing pretty good, this works really well. And I'm just gonna powder my under eyes using the L'Oreal Infallible Magic, what's this called? Magic Loose Powder. And I'm just using a little brush to just set my under eyes and my eyelids before I do my cream products. Otherwise they become a creasy mess. As we all know from when, <laughs> Whenever I follow a celebrity makeup tutorial and they don't set their under eyes. So in my video, I'm setting them. So the next steps that I do is a bit of cream contour or wow, it's technically cream bronzer and then cream blush. So I'm just using a contour stick for this. If anyone has any recommendations for contour sticks, by the way, please let me know because some of my favorite ones I want to find replacements for. One of them, the Benefit one was discontinued. And then this one actually, like I'd rather not speak about the brand anymore because they screwed over another influencer. I just want to find some alternatives, you know? I think the Primark one is supposed to be really good. I'm just gonna use my brush that I used for my foundation to sort of push this in a little bit more. And then I'm taking my Fenty Cream Blush in the shade Petal Poppin. This color is just so beautiful. And I just take loads of this on my brush and pack it onto my cheeks. The lighting is so all over the place. I can't really see what I'm doing. So next I am taking that powder again and I'm gonna set the rest of my face. Another one of these Morphe brushes. Oh, the lighting, hopefully that's a bit better because the sun is now about to shine directly through the window, which is not gonna help. So a lot of the time after I powder, I do find that it kind of takes away a little bit of the bronzer. So I just take a little bit of powder. Usually just add a little bit more to my cheekbones to define them a little bit more. And then sometimes bring a little bit just down my neck. Sometimes in a, if I'm in a rush, I will literally just leave it as this. But if I'm wanting to take it, you know, to my regular everyday sort of makeup, I take my highlighter. This is my Cookies and Cream Revolution Glow Duo, Highlighter Duo. And I just add a little bit of this to the tops of my cheekbones or just sort of like swirl it onto my cheeks really quickly. Add a little bit to my brow bone 
down my nose. I've lost my other little brush that I usually use for my nose highlight and then a little bit just here in my inner corners. So next for my eyebrows, just to give them a little bit more of a defined shape because I do have a couple gaps. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I just take a little bit of brow pen or brow pencil. I'm just using my Benefit Precisely My Brow today in the shade four, just to fill in a few of the gaps. And then before I do my mascara, because I find once I do my mascara, if I then do setting spray, it makes my mascara smudge under my eyes. So before I do my mascara, I take my setting spray or mist or whatever I'm using. This is the Fenty Beauty What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. And I just use a hell of a lot of this. <laughs> oh, it just feels so nice found my face dry and also it brings a bit of glowiness back to my skin which i really like then i do my mascara and my three favorites at the moment actually are i've started using this one again the l'oreal telescopic because i lost it for like i don't know a couple months but i found it again so i'm back onto this and also oh my god look how badly my eyelid is creased clearly didn't put enough powder on there i really love this mascara because it's got such a tiny wand but my three favorites at the moment are this one which is the l'oreal telescopic the maybelline sky high and also the mascara revolution oh it just works so well okay so eyelash is done i feel like i didn't put enough blush on i'm gonna break all the rules here and i'm going back in with cream blush over the top of my makeup probably a bad idea but I just want a little bit more blush. Okay, I think that's a bit better. I guess the one benefit of leaving your base quite glowy is that you can sort of do that and go back in with cream products. And then the last step is my lips. And I'm actually gonna be using one product each from each of my lip kits. I kind of use all of them in combination, but I'm using my lip liner. Look at the state of this. <laughs> Look at it. I'm gonna have to open a new one soon, but I'm using my lip liner from Candy Icing, which is my perfect everyday nude color and just overlining my lips slightly and then i'm using the lip balm from the toffee drizzle kit and that is my everyday makeup done so this is the overall makeup look let me know what you think and of course the sun has gone back in so finally for my hair just taking this off and I'll just take brush a lot of the time with my hair i'll style it on the first day that i wash it so i did wash it yesterday and then for the next few days after that i actually don't like tend to do much to it in terms of heat just to try and keep it you know as healthy and heat free as possible and so i literally will just brush through it add a bit of dry shampoo if i need it i don't really think i need it today maybe tomorrow i'll add some dry shampoo this is just the batiste one and then just through the ends of my hair oh my god you can't even see the ends of my hair there we go I just take a pump of this, which is the Moroccan oil. I absolutely love this stuff. It smells so good. Oh, and then I just put this through the ends of my hair and then just brush through it again. And that is me done for the day. I'm just going to go turn off my lights for a sec so I can show you the makeup with literally just the sunlight. Okay, so this is the makeup literally just with natural lighting and the sunlight that's reflecting like off the walls and through the window. Let me just zoom you in. This is me. This is my skin. And this is the makeup. So I'm now just going to answer a question of the day. As always, if you guys have got any questions for me, leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day and I might answer it in my next video. Also, let me know if there are any videos that you want to see, um, anything in particular, any products that have come out recently that you want me to test, any trends you want me to do, just anything in general, even if it's not makeup related. Well, this is a very relevant question. This is from Lil Lo, and they have said, hey, so love your videos, especially the Celebrity Vogue makeup tutorial ones. I hope you like this one too. What has been your favorite Vogue tutorial look and what has been your least favorite? You know what? I'm gonna have to Google like which ones I've actually done because I can't remember. I think my favorite was probably the Madison Beer one that I did a few months back. I really, really loved that. I've done Kylie Jenner. I've done Addison Rae. I've done Bella Porch. Kim Kardashian, Doja Cat, Madison Beer, Emma Chamberlain, and Selena Gomez. You know what? I think my least favorite was probably Selena Gomez. Not because I don't love her and like her makeup looked amazing on her, but I just think the particular makeup that Selena did didn't 
suit my face that great. It looks a lot better on her than it did on me. Or maybe Emma Chamberlain, just because there was like nothing really on the eyebrows. I don't know. I have to say, I did really like the Kim Kardashian one as well. I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I hope you're all doing good and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I really like this. <laughs>